Hey everybody, I'm Evan with Solved. We help automate businesses using Salesforce's Agent Force product. So, question we get is: Is Data Cloud mandatory for deploying Agent Force? Uh, so the answer to this question is. Simply yes, you do need Data Cloud in order to uh, create agents and use the Agent Force platform. Um, the there is some nuance though, so it, it is a prerequisite to using some of the AI features like the Einstein Trust layer. Uh, but you don't need a full blown Data Cloud implementation uh, to be able to like make good use of Agent Force. Uh, so you just need some some basics and I'll kind of walk you through that. So I mentioned a couple things here. First of all, some people may be wondering what is Data Cloud in the first place and what is the Einstein Trust Layer? So let's get into it. Um, you have Salesforce. You're familiar with this. Got Salesforce. Uh, let's start with Data Cloud. So Data Cloud is a data lake house that sits on top of your Salesforce instance. Um, so this is valuable because you can pull in data from all over your organization. Say you have like a marketing platform um, or maybe website data that you want to be able to analyze all of it in one place. Um, marketing website uh, maybe you have a customer service platform a different one so all that data is coming into data cloud uh, where you can kind of just have one source of truth for it um, all built on top of salesforce so that's a quick intro to data cloud um, what is the einstein trust layer so what we're talking about here is we want to use agent force within salesforce to uh, automate certain tasks, right? So if you have agents, maybe you have an SDR agent or a customer service agent, and there's a task that requires it to reach out to an LLM. So we'll put another box here for, we'll say open AI. Uh, so there are some risks to just communicating with an LLM provider. Um, you don't want your data to get leaked or trained on or anything like that. So Salesforce provides this Einstein trust layer uh, that uh, will sanitize your prompts on the way in. So you have your agent and it needs to ask uh, the LLM to generate some sort of a response, maybe a response to a customer um, if it's a customer service agent. Um, so all the customer information and everything that you are including with your, your prompt uh, is going to get sanitized. So the PII is going to get masked. Their name, any company data, all of that is going to get sort of scrambled uh, on the way into the request to OpenAI. Um, also, OpenAI or or the there's a specific portal that Salesforce is going to access open access OpenAI through. Um, that basically OpenAI has guaranteed not to use any of the data for training and not even to retain it on their server. Extra secure way, what we're talking about, extra secure way to access these LLMs via the API from your Salesforce org. So adds a lot of security, lots of peace of mind. And then on the way back to Salesforce, uh, Einstein Trust Layer is going to score it um for toxicity because you never know they, these llms are not deterministic so you never fully know what you're going to get back and so just in case there's any problems um the einstein trust layer is going to give you a log and that log is going to get stored in data cloud so that's the only thing you really need it for to start using agent force and building out agents there's a lot of other reasons why you might want to have data cloud you can store information in data cloud that then makes your agents even more useful because they have access to data and so some of the libraries and things that you can put in data cloud um, but as a starting point that's all you need so you might be thinking this seems like a lot of work and potentially a lot of money does data cloud cost a bunch of money um, that you now have to pay on top of uh, your other licenses and agent force usage. So, um, pull up Salesforce's page on um, 
Salesforce Foundation. So this is a new zero dollar additional line item that you can add to your Salesforce, uh, just you know, through your Salesforce account that includes kind of it's a kind of a like a starter pack or a trial on data cloud, agent force, a bunch of other useful features. So um, you may already know that you get agent force a thousand conversations for free through Salesforce foundations. Um, but data cloud, you also get 10,000 uh, like segmentation credits. Basically, you get credits to be able to use data cloud for free. And if all you use it for is these uh, like Einstein trust layer scores and logs, uh, you're going to use it for a really long time before you run out of those free credits. So if you start building other things, other proof of concepts or things in data cloud, uh, you may consume those credits faster. But um, at least, you know, for just what's strictly necessary for using Agent Force, you're not going to consume those very fast. Uh, one other kind of last question is how much work is it? Do I have to do how much data cloud implementation am I going to have to do before I can start using agent force answers very little. Uh, what we're talking about enabling here is basically just doing the initial setup of data cloud so that you have it sitting there and then doing a tiny bit more setup just to, to enable the Einstein features. And then you're kind of off and running with agent force. So we're talking about. Uh, maybe an extra hour on on the front of when you're starting to set up your agents. Uh, nothing too crazy. So uh, if you want more information about Agent Force or uh, you know specifically how can Data Cloud help make your agents even better, we've got other videos. Feel free to check them out. Um, we'll have a video specifically on how Data Cloud enhances Agent Force. So thanks everybody.